people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to some more FNAF news. In today's video, we got you 2 showing off some brand new FNAF movie products, and it's got everyone excited. Mystery minis based on the Fazbear fanverse might be coming pretty soon. And then shockingly, a game adaptation of one of the books Into the Pit is looking to be coming out on the horizon. So as you can tell, this is going to be an insane FNAF news video. There's so much incredible news to talk about. And it's also quite special because in case you haven't noticed just yet, I've done some rearranging here in the office. Which does mean a brand new FNAF merchandise tour is coming out this week. But before we get to that, let's talk about some news. Kicking this video off by talking about some Hex news. First up for Hex, we had Docker release this picture drawn by Oof True, recreating the What Can We Use teaser from the FNAF 3 days. Those were the days. As you can see, we got Withered Chica, Withered Golden Freddy, and Springtrap in the picture. All three of those plushies releasing pretty dang soon at this point. In fact, we got a brand new image of the back of Springtrap. And then we also got another full look at the upcoming Withered Golden Freddy plushie. So those two alongside Withered Chica should be coming out pretty much any day at this point. And for upcoming Hex plushies, we had Docker reveal that a Nightmare Yone plush is currently in the works. And then also after the release of Springtrap, Golden Freddy, and Withered Chica, Docker revealed that the sister location Funtime animatronics will be up next. And if you're worried the fact that he's skipping over the Phantom and Nightmare animatronics, well don't be. Docker has said in the past he's doing the fun times now because he's getting kind of tired of doing the same Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy characters. Moving on now to U2s, we got an update on their upcoming MatPat figure. Because U2s revealed the back of the box and immediately I noticed, hey wait a second, that's Freddy Fazbear's pizza place from the FNAF movie. Hello internet, welcome to my research bunker where, for the last 13 years, I've been diving deep into the science, math, and lore of your favorite franchises. And now, after all that time, I'm finally ready. I present to you with this, my final timeline. Hashtag not clickbait. So obviously we've got some juxtaposition here. The quote is definitely not anything he says in the FNAF movie, but the design on the back of the box is from the FNAF movie. So I'm very very curious to know, do you think this upcoming MatPat figure is going to be based on just the person MatPat or Ness, the character that he plays in the FNAF movie? Also for you 2s they revealed the updated design for their upcoming Springtrap plushie. Comparing to the original design of the Springtrap plushie, I do think this is an upgrade in some departments. While I'm still not all too keen on the face, I think his eyes and nose could be moved up a little bit. The details and updated color correction on this plush just knock it out of the park. Much better than that original design in my opinion, but of course I'd love to know your thoughts. Sticking with YouTubes, but moving on now to their upcoming FNAF movie merchandise, they revealed the teaser for the Yellow Rabbit, aka Spring Bonnie, aka William Afton. He goes by a bunch of names at this point. As you can see, the quote on the back is one of the lines he says in the film, you are wretched, rotten little beast. I made you. We can also see a bit of his ear poking out from, I'd assume, the entrance of the pizzeria. And something absolutely amazing about this figure is that for the first time in YouTube's history, Austin Long from YouTube says that Spring Bonnie will have a remote movable head, which again has never been done on a U2's figure before, so FNAF is breaking new ground, and that is just incredible. I'd assume it's going to be the regular Spring Bonnie mask, and then you can take it off to reveal the head of William Afton underneath, and I'll just keep saying it, that is insane. I mean, that is a must-buy figure right there. And lastly, for U2's, they showed off two of their upcoming FNAF movie pins. The first one is actually from a deleted scene, where Bonnie was giving a piggyback ride to Piper Rubio, who plays Abby, and the second pin is of Mike doing what he does best, which is sleep being haunted by the shadow of the yellow rabbit. Moving on now to the Fazbear fanverse, we've got Emil Mako showing off some brand new screenshots of the upcoming FNAF Fur. If you don't know, FNAF Fur is a Five Nights at Candy spinoff, and as you can tell from these screenshots, it is a 2D adventure, a lot like Candy's Adventure if you played Five Nights at Candy's 3. FNAF Fur is basically that, but just an expanded version that turns it into a fully-fledged video game. And in these new screenshots, we get a better look at the world that we're gonna see in the game. Some gameplay as well, of course we've got the basics jumping, you can't have a platformer without jumping. One of the dog enemies looks like maybe Maybe some coins, and it looks like we're also going to be able to climb some ropes. But now moving on to the news that personally has me most excited for this video. I'm so excited my voice is cracking up. We had community member Charlie who makes a lot of mock-up concept designs for FNAF merchandise. She cooked up this mock-up for what a mystery mini series of fanverse figures would look like. You've got a whole bunch of representation from the Pop Goes and FNAF and T-Jock series. And Kane Carter actually saw this and said, I sent this to Scott and he agrees the mock-up looks pretty awesome. He's going to try 
try to send it to Funko in the hopes that that persuades them to try it themselves. Not necessarily likely, however, but we'll see, I guess. Well, Kane Carter, if you want this to happen, you gotta have faith. The Mystery Minis, I feel like, is a perfect merchandise line for the Fazbear fanverse. I mean, there's so many games, so many characters in the fanverse, it's gonna be hard to make pop figures or action figures or plushies about them. But for Mystery Minis, you can have so many characters, as we can see from the concepts. The people want the Fazbear fanverse Mystery Minis and Funko, I beg of you, please make them happen. And lastly, let's move on to some book news. Now, normally I save the book news towards the beginning of the video, but as I alluded to in the intro, there is some very juicy, a lot of book news actually that I just had to save it for the end. First up, we got the official cover for the fifth volume of the Fazbear Fred's graphic novel collection. The cover features Coils the Clown from the story Jump for Tickets, which is one of the three stories in this graphic novel collection. The other two being Find Player 2 and Sea Bonnies, which... I'm not really looking forward to a comic version of Sea Bonnies, but we are getting it. Luckily, we got a bit to prepare ourselves because this book releases on September the 3rd. We also got the cover reveal for the Tales from the Pizzaplex box set collection, containing all eight of the Tales from the Pizzaplex books, which does mean B72 was in fact the final Tales book. There were murmurs and whispers about a ninth Tales book, but no, it seems like eight is going to be the final one. And if you missed out on the Tales book, this box set collection releases on the 12th of November. For even more upcoming books, we've got a brand new interactive young adult novel being revealed. It's got no cover, it only has a release date of, once again, the 3rd of September. It is interesting to know it does say novel number one, so most likely this is going to be a brand new book series. There's not really much to go off of, I'd love to know your thoughts, what do you think is going to be interactive about this book? I've seen some thoughts and theories that it could be a choose-your-own-adventure FNAF book, which sounds awesome, I'd love that. I've seen some people say it could be a pop-up book, and the animatronic actually can pop out and jump scare you. That'd also be pretty funny. And lastly, just to round out this book news, here is Scholastic's entire release schedule for the 2024 year. We've already gotten the official novel for the FNAF movie, the fourth volume of Fazbear Fright's graphic novel. Seems like the next book to release is going to be on April the 2nd with the Security Breach Files updated edition. On August the 6th, actually two days before FNAF's 10 year anniversary, we got the glow in the dark coloring book. We got the art and making of the FNAF movie releasing on August 20th, which we're still waiting on to cover for, and then the three books we've already discussed. All right, well now let's talk about the big juicy news, the brand new upcoming FNAF game that's apparently based on one of the books, because in that same issue by Scholastic, we got them releasing a few bullet points about the FNAF series. They released some accolades and highlights from the movie's release. Free Security Breach DLC came out in July. Yep, the Ruin DLC, love that. FNAF Help Wanted 2 released in December. Yep, that was also an amazing game. Okay, so it seems like we're talking about some video games here. And lastly, into the pit. New game coming soon. And people are like, wait a second. Wait, wait, we are talking about games here. Why are you talking about Into the Pit? What's going on, Scholastic? You're, you already had your book section down below on the page. So unless they're just throwing Into the Pit as like a quirky tagline for the new game coming out, like, yeah, yippee, celebrate, Into the Pit, new game. It doesn't really make any sense though, right? So a lot of people are taking this as a game adaptation of Into the Pit, whether it be just the story Into the Pit or the entire book of Fazbear Frights 1 Into the Pit. Seems like we're getting a game based on one or both of those. And if that's true, how exactly are they going to do that? I mean, going from book to game is definitely a hefty task. Unless it's not an exact one-to-one -one adaptation, unless they take little bits and pieces from the story of Into the Pit. You know, they could just like pick Oswald, right? Grab Spring Bonnie, the time-traveling ball pit, the Freddy's location he time travels and teleports back into. I've seen some people speculate this could be one of the Click Team projects that they've been teasing. Because right now it seems like there are at least two projects Click Team is working on. One of them being in the Click Team engine, the other one being in Unreal Engine. One of them taking a very real realistic approach, while well, the other one looks a bit more cartoony. But whether this is a click team game or not, I'd love to know. What are your thoughts on this game adaptation for Into the Pit? Do you think it's going to be a direct adaptation one for one? Do you think they're just going to take little elements here and there from the story? Do you think it's going to be just Into the Pit? Or do you think it's going to be the other stories from that first Fazbear Fright book? Because also in that book, you've got To Be Beautiful. You've got Count the Ways. That's going to do it for this FNAF News video. That was not everything that's been coming out recently. So pretty soon, another FNAF News video is going to be popping up in your sub box. And also a room tour. So stay on the lookout for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.